guys, it's Simon Curtis Fangirl here. Um, I'm sorry if I sound really quiet right now. It's like almost 5 a.m. in the morning, but today I'm going to be showing you how to time travel safely in Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, you guys are probably wondering, um, how do I time travel safely without my villagers moving out so I can move forward a month ahead? Or a month back. Like, for example, it could be winter time. you want to catch a certain bug right now. And, um, as long as you have the beautiful town or it's enabled, make sure you have that enabled as well to make sure you're, um, to make sure you don't get any weeds or, and stuff like that. Um, so before I get started, I'm going to lower down my brightness because my iPad camera sucks. Lower it down to three. And let's get to it. So I'm going to open up my file here. And yeah, that's my real name. But, uh, yeah. Okay. I want to set it to 10 a.m. Because, I don't know. Just feel like it, I guess. Um, anywho, wait, <laughs> I forgot. So, you time travel forward like three days, I think, because you almost usually say in about three days, Oh, I want to move on, and all that. So you say perfect, and hit again. <clears throat> we can time travel two days like that, and then hit one more day. Do your daily things in your town. Okay, so my character's in her pajamas. Let me change out of that real quick. Really, really quick. So, I'm so tired. I'm really tired, guys, but. Earlier this morning, I couldn't get any sleep, so I'm just up in the middle of the freaking night making a video about Animal Crossing. Or in the morning, I should say, because it's kind of early. Okay, so you want to go out in your town and check which animals are about to move out because if you don't, you're going to lose one of your favorite villagers doing this. Now, personally, my favorite villagers, well, all of them are, but my two favorites are Tabby and Mira, and I don't want to lose them. So, if you talk to one of the animals in your town like so, um... Like I say, you want to make sure you have the Beable Town Ordinance enabled for this. Um. Okay, Tabby as of Lee. Let me get that real quick. Alright. Oops. I don't want to hit her again. So you talk to one of the villagers, Tabby, for example. See? Okay, so I'm going to save and quit my game again. I forgot. I need all the animals up for this, so I'm going to time travel to 11 a.m. It's like springtime in real life right now, so I can catch as many bugs as I want. But, I'll just time travel to, say, October and show you that this is not, um, this is not a, oh, prank to video. This is a legit video. I figured this out on my own. And, uh, God, I'm going to have to change my intro after this video. But, uh.
So if your animal shows the request like, oh, I want to move out and get out of here, say no in a heartbeat and you should be okay. Um, this is also really useful for those of you who want to catch bugs like right, right now. If you time travel backwards, your animals will not move out because apparently it doesn't cast a day moving forward and it just basically sets a lot of stuff. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know how it works completely, but as far as I know, no one wants to move out when you do that. So Mira's going to tell me she wants to get out of here. And I'm going to say no. There you go. So, I'll hit save and quit. And, I don't know, time travel to... Mm, I'll say October 31st. Because Halloween is my favorite event on this game. So, I'm going to time travel to October 31st. As long as you make sure, make sure none of your animals moved out, you're good. Don't want to mess this up, like, ever. Because if you mess this up, guess what? You're not seeing that villager anymore, which really makes me sad when they move away because, um, like, I think October is the 10th. Let's see, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Yep. So it's going to be the 31st, which is Halloween. And then Isabel will say something like, oh, where have you been? I'm sure everybody will be thrilled to see you. Well, she would have said that. But since you time traveled to an event, it's not going to count that. Okay, so let's see if my theory was correct. Yep, I was right. So yeah, that's how you time travel safely in your town. Time travel three days ahead to, and to the day where your villagers want to move out of the town. And then you just basically tell that villager you don't want them to move out. And then you can time travel as many months forward as you want. No one will move out, and um, you can just do whatever. You can repeat this as many times as you want. I mean, I do this a lot, but if you time travel backwards, as far as I know, if it doesn't really affect the game that much, no villagers move out um, if you've convinced them not to move out already. And uh, I guess it's because it makes the time go backwards, not forwards. And, um, it's pretty fun. I mean, I like messing around with the time travel in this game quite a lot. So, um, I might upload, uh, and, um, if you want to see more Animal Crossing videos by me, by the way, my town is, like, um, almost three years old now. And it's not complete yet, and I'm not planning on deleting this town anytime soon, even if it is complete, because... I worked so hard to get all this stuff. So, yeah. Um, besides, there's always things to do in Animal Crossing. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Simon Curtis Fangirl out. I'm going to change my intro after this.